Hi everybody, I hope that you're doing well. Happy New Year to you. It's been a little while since we've all been able to hang out. Um, one of the real hot trends in, in trying to uh, keep a healthy lifestyle and maybe look towards the future, and I don't know about you all, but in this pandemic time, maybe I've had a beverage or two extra when I might not have in the past. And um, I want to introduce to you all a product that we're going to be carrying and that I myself was pretty skeptical of to begin with. It's fantastic. I, I, I love it. I really enjoy it. And um, stick around through this video. We've got some special stuff for the membership. And um, I just want to introduce to you Marco Knox. He's with Athletic Brewing Company. Um, he introduced himself to me a couple weeks ago. We got together. I tasted through the products. And I was like, we, we've got to start carrying this. So I'm going to let Marco tell you a little bit about the product. And hopefully you've picked up some of the packages that me and Marco put together uh, for you and you can taste through with us. Uh, Any time now would be a great time to open up your samples at home here. So Marco, take it away. Tell us what we got here. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. Nice to meet everybody. As Adam mentioned, I am Marco Knox. I'm the North Carolina Territory Manager for Athletic Brewing Company. A uh, little bit about us is we are based out of Stratford, Connecticut. We also have a brewery in San Diego, California. So two breweries, uh, and we have two flagship brands, uh, Run Wild and Upside Dawn. And I don't know if you let the cat out of the bag yet, Adam. I have should go ahead and yeah. do it now. Yeah, yeah. First of all, we're craft brewery. We're award-winning, and we're non-alcoholic. So hopefully, I didn't lose anybody yet. You're right. We stuck around, right? Um, and our ethos is to really support community, and we just happen to make craft beer and really good craft beer. Um, our brewer, John Walker, is uh, award-winning out of Austin, Texas, and he brings some delicious uh, West Coast IPAs to the forefront for everybody to try out. So um, not only do we make beer, we really protect land and trails. So we have two foot trails, which I think we'll talk about here in a little bit. That sounds good, yeah. Um, but other than that, I think we're really, the taste is uh, the proof. So yeah. we so really talk about the beer. Those of you all that managed to snag one of the uh, care packages that Marco and Athletic Brewing put together, you're gonna have one uh, can of Upside Dawn, which is the uh, golden ale. And then you're gonna have an IPA called Run Wild as well. And we're gonna taste through those. Matter of fact, let's, let's get these open. Let's do it. And then we'll talk about a little bit more about the Athletic Brewing Company, but also how we see this fitting, fitting into Rumbling Bald and, and frankly, personally, why I'm enjoying it so much. So. From a personal standpoint, um, I try and take, I don't tell many people this, but I try and take January off of uh, any alcohol. I dry out, dry January, you'll find it's a pretty common thing, but it's the time for sort of recentering and refocusing. And Marco showed up right at that time and I said, man, let's try these. As objectively as I can, can put it, some of the typical non-alcoholic brands, um, frankly, they taste like old apple juice to me. Uh, we tasted them head to head. These not only taste like it, but they are brewed. These are hops. These are brewed. I know there's some proprietary information that yep. I don't know the answer to either. Um, but these taste like beer. The, the other products taste like something sort of like beer. Minus the alcohol, to my understanding, this is beer. This is... Um, this is hops this is this is this is the real deal and it tastes like it so let's uh let's have a taste i'll, I'll give you sort of my consumer opinion and then you tell me from a uh, technical standpoint and maybe the goal of the company what you think people are finding as well yeah let's do it cheers thanks for being here cheers today. my friends let's Thank do you. it cheers everybody so the first thing i notice is that this tastes like beer. It's got the body of beer. It's got the, um, for lack of a better word, the bubbles of beer. Um, it's got the sensation. It's got the brightness in the back of your throat uh, where that, that sort of fizz is when you take a big gulp. It's very fresh. It's very bright. And, and, and I mean that different than acidically. This is, this is more of the golden kind of mid-range uh, acid level. Um, there, there are some of those apple and citrus flavors. There's also some of those IP, uh, IPA kind of piney flavors yeah. in there as well. So it is on the brighter, refreshing side. Um, but again, it comes, the, the experience, the body, the flavor, 
it's all spot on. It's all legitimate to me. Yeah, no doubt. And if I can add to that, you know, we use all organic malt and it's paired with a combination of uh, English and American hops that you're not going to find in a lot of our competitor non-alcoholic brews in this space. Um, moreover, it's only got 50 calories. So to your point about being health conscious in January, we have a lot of our consumers that are health conscious year round. And this really fits into their wheelhouse, you know, 50 calories, 15 IBUs. And as you touched on, the ingredients of beer, the four main ingredients, right? Water, organic malt, hops, and yeast. We use them all. We just don't have to have alcohol in it. So, yeah, spot on when you said refreshing, clean, and balanced. And the mouthfeel is right there as well. And I know that, the again, there's some proprietary things that, mm -hmm. that you all have that set you apart. But am I right to say this is this is not cooked this is not evaporated and condensed yeah. it, it that is that does not have that flavor component to it no. that some of the other non-alcoholic categories of beer and wine have and and frankly it's immediately distinguishable this doesn't have that uh, right. we won't dig any more into the process and, and and frankly I'm still intrigued myself but it does and we could categorically say it is, it is not the cooked condensed version of, nope. of anything that way no nope. we don't we don't reverse osmosis we don't pull the alcohol out of it we brew it right up to the point where okay you know very good very yeah. good um let's not get too far off topic yet let's taste this second one All so right, what it. are we looking for in the ipa what's going to set a t traditional ipa apart from a traditional golden ale well this is going to be your traditional west coast ipa okay so a little more forward on the hops. Um, the IBUs are going to come in around 35, so it's a little bit stronger than this golden ale. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm see. sorry, for the layman, the, the IBUs, we're talking bitter or acidity uh, yeah, uh, units, the measurements? the international bitter units mm -hmm. is what the IBU stands for. So 35 yeah. is, is mid-range. I mean, some of your double hops and your, your other IPAs can be up in 50 range. So this is going to be too forward for a lot of people. It's, it's very sessionable, if you will. You can, you can, this is a day drinker. Uh, you can have a few of them and still feel really good about the taste and not burn out on it. Mm -hmm. So again, all organic ingredients. Um, I touched on the West Coast version of it, or, 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 or taste of it. Uh, and again, also seven, only 70 calories in this one, 50 in the golden and 70 in this one. Okay. So without further ado, I think we give yeah. this one a try. So have a little taste here too. Yeah. So to me, of these two, this is where, from my own palate, this is where you all really shine and deliver uh, yeah. from a, not, obviously we told you up front that, that there's no alcohol in here, so it's not a, it's not a parlor trick to fool anybody. This is a, this is a serious product for people to enjoy, but it really delivers as a beer replacement. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, from an IPA, you, you. You touch on all the bases again there's that sort of piney spruce uh to it the citrus is very very bright the other thing that i really like about this one you know those of y'all that haven't heard of the ibus or the bitter measurements don't be put off by that uh from a food pairing standpoint if i put my sommelier hat on for a moment um Acid is what you need when you pair food together there's a reason that we say that our mouths water at the taste of good food um acid makes our mouths water that that is that is our body getting ready to eat and to consume and so if you're talking you know springs right around the corner brats off the grill kind of thing yeah um I, I would i would have that with dinner with with brats right now or even with some of the winter pork dishes and that kind of thing i think that it, that it really delivers on there and again it's important that when it comes to the experience, the price that'll be with it, and that sort of thing, this is a craft brew experience. No doubt, it, 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 it absolutely is. You all do a great job of of delivering on that, and I think if people look just a little bit, um, they'll find you guys are no joke. I, I I was frankly taken aback by how successful in some of the places that you're in who are some of your retail partners where people could find you out and about in the community outside of rumbling bald sure um we do business with uh, whole foods trader joe's most of your major grocery chains that you're going to find athletic brewery in there um a lot of bars and pubs as well yeah. carry us um 
we're we're pretty well placed in most in most establishments. Honestly, yeah, it, it, it's one thing to get you know Adam to carry a, a couple lines. It's a whole different thing to get a national chain to yeah. allocate shelf space. We all have heard how challenging grocery you know the competitive market that that is grocery store space. Mm -hmm. It's really impressive what you all have done. I, I, I truly wish you well on that. This is going to be Thank a you. neat thing for us to be a part of. Tell us about some of the, uh, the, the community priorities that you all have as a company, and maybe even tell a little bit about how, because you're here in Lake Lure. Now. Personally, yeah. you're here in Lake, yep, Lure, resident uh, Lake Lure, resident here now. Tell us uh, how all that ties together, if you, if you want to share any of that. Yeah, sure. Um, so our ethos, is, as I touched on earlier, was, is to uh, protect land, get back to the community um, in, in many ways. And one that I can touch on here locally is uh, our Two for the Trails program. And what that simply means is we give 2% of our gross earnings as a company back to trails throughout the nation, whether that be for parking lots to expand trails to give people more access, uh, clean up the trails with trash days, or even building new trails. So something we did here locally is Buffalo Creek, which I believe is right on your property. You yeah. this that right? was a partnership with uh, with the town of Lake Lure, and yeah. I believe some state park initiatives as well, but we're absolutely partners on that project. Yeah, so uh, I, I participate uh, in volunteer trail days there, cleaning up the trail, uh, helping to uh, maintain some of the drainage issues that we have on the trail. And as a reward, I, I bring some beers afterwards, and we, uh, we all crack a beer afterwards and uh, enjoy them. But the bigger picture for us is giving back to the community and, and really giving people access to these type of things. So last year alone as a company, we donated over 350,000 back to the trails throughout the nation. And we've got an aggressive goal here in 2021 of north of 1 million to give back. So uh, it's, it's a steadfast mission for us. Our founders are, are, are really uh, pushing that envelope forward and making sure that we continue to give back and, and, and grow community um, and allow people to have these recreational spaces to live their best life. And, and as our motto states, uh, live without compromise. So. Yeah, that's our Two for the Trails program, and real proud of that, and we'll really, really hang our hats on that. Very good. Thank you for all of that. And like you said, here in our community, that's important. For our yeah. own mission here at Rumbling Bald, looking out at um, the western North Carolina outdoors, uh, representing that, hopefully reflecting that in what we do, participating in that, um, I think it's a great addition to our lineup of products. We'll carry both of these in all the food and beverage outlets, as well as down at the North Shore Cabana. And you've got some seasonal brews that might make an appearance from time to time as well. I Am do. I right about that? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So those will be around. Um, I, you know, I think that it's, again, a great addition. I envision if I'm going out on a kayak... I might want to have a beer. I might not want to have a beer, but I certainly don't want to get gassed out on the lake. Mm -hmm. So maybe it goes in combination after I have one yeah, it's a alcoholic pacer, beer. beer. Yeah, Absolutely. pace with it. Um, secondarily, we want to be responsible in our community, be able to get home safe mm -hmm. and all of that. So it bridges a lot of those gaps. And um, uh, like I say, I'm looking forward to adding it. I do think that you all really deliver on these. Thank I'm excited you. to have you all on board. If you haven't gotten or haven't heard of the, uh, the care package that Marco and Athletic Brewing have put together, email me, a Shira at Rumbling Bald, and sign up. I've got 24 care packages that are going to go out. They're free. Anybody that wants them, you have to be a member. Um, shoot me an email, and we'll have them here in Legends for you to pick up. Please make sure that you just give me a note before you come uh, pick it up and demand it. It'll be the first 24. We'll send you with uh, one of the Upside Dawns and one of the Run Wilds. And then uh, Marco's got some cool swag that we're going to put in the bags as well for you. I think there's some koozies in there and there, there might be some other goodies. We'll also give you the technical stuff. If, uh, if you've made it this far in the video, you're probably interested in that. <clears throat> and we'd love to share those details with you. And I can't believe we didn't start off with this, but um, as Marco and Athletic Brewing like to say, tasting is believing. Um, to wrap up where I started, I was pretty skeptical. Cracked one open, had a taste. I said, all right, I got to learn a little bit more now. I about wish I had it. that reaction I, on <laughs> video. It would have been great. It, yeah. it, it was honest, it was legitimate. Um, it's true. 
So, Marco, thanks for being here. Thanks for looking out for our membership. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers, everybody. And uh, let's make this a better 2021, and I think that this can be part of it. Come see us soon. Thank you so much.